following takes place between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. Events occur in real time. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Wade's Movie World. Okay, I have some fantastic news from both television and the movies. Are you ready for this? This is news I've been waiting for years and years to come and we finally have something on it and I think it's fantastic news so let's just go ahead and get right into it. There is a 24 movie in development right now. OMG 24 is being developed into a movie finally after all these years. They've talked about this and talked about this and they went ahead and did nine seasons of the show plus one other breakoff season called 24 legacy they've been talking about a movie for years but it just never could get off the ground and they put more stock into the show than they did developing a movie but now something is finally happening with it as far as going into a movie goes i am beyond excited about this so let's go ahead and get into it i have an article pulled up here from VarietyMagazine.com. This article is by Katsi Steven. It was published on July 17th, 2024 at 6.56 p.m. Pacific time. Here is what the article's headline reads. 24 film in development at 20th century produced by Brian Grazer. Okay, so the guy who produced the TV series is gonna be producing this movie. Okay, that's a good start. Let's keep going. A film adaptation of the popular television series 24 is in early development at 20th Century Studios, sources tell Variety. Imagine Entertainment co-founder Brian Grazer teased the project during an appearance on MSNBC's Squawk Box in June. Uh, I don't know what Squawk Box is. I've never heard of it, but it's been announced, so I'm good to go with it. Here's what Brian Grazer had to say, quote, Imagine has always played in that zone where there is that high probability chance that it will be successful in movie theaters. It's great for us because we built over 30 years, over 100 different products and brands, whether it's Backdraft, which I'm going to do today with Glenn Powell, or whether it's 24, a movie that we're going to do in a very interesting way with Disney and Fox, end quote. Grazer also spoke to the Hollywood's current outlook on selecting already established IP with a high level of awareness, adding these formats of the late 90s and the 2000s have become very important because the streamers or studios are very, right now, even more of risk adverse. I'm not really sure what that means, but okay. 24 created by Joel Sunro and Robert Cochran for Fox originally ran for nine seasons between 2001 and 2014 and spawned a television film called 24 Redemption in 2008. Kiefer Sutherland starred as Jack Bauer, an agent from the U.S. government's fictitious counter-terrorist unit, or CTU. Each season depicted 24 hours in real time, which that was the best thing about the show is the real time aspect of the show and that each scene, each season was one whole day and every episode was an hour out of that day. I mean, what an interesting concept that was. And, you know, TV shows are using that very concept today, you know, telling a story that keeps going on and on and on, you know, in each episode until it reaches, you know, the season finale. They took that from 24. 24 was the first to do it. This series received 68 Emmy nominations during its run, earning 20 wins, including Outstanding Drama Series and Lead Actor for Kiefer Sutherland in 2006. At this early stage, there are no plot details available and no word yet on if Sutherland will return for the film. Okay, so that's all the article says. Well, let me just say this. I'm deeply excited about this movie, but it won't be a movie unless they get Kiefer Sutherland to return as CTU agent Jack Bauer. Now, it's all set up 
all ready for Jack Bauer to return. I mean, they left Live Another Day wide open for something to happen after that. So right now, as we all know, Jack Bauer is being held in a Russian prison for crimes that he committed against the Russians during day eight or season eight. So that's the last time we saw him when they were making the exchange for Chloe to Jack. So yeah, it's completely wide open for something to happen. Uh, I've actually come up with some fan fiction scenarios in my head of things they could do to you know, start the story over again and get Jack Bauer uh, out of that Russian prison. Uh, maybe I'll share my thoughts or what I would want to see during that day or time period. You know, would they ever go with my idea? Probably not, but it's just something, you know, some fan fiction I thought up in my head uh, that I thought could be a, a cool concept. Uh, with my concept, there's a lot of cheating in there, but oh well. So yeah, this, this is great. This is outstanding news. Uh, to be honest, I've actually been watching reruns of 24. Um, and here pretty soon, I'm gonna do a ranking video, ranking all the seasons of 24, um, you know, from best to worst. So that video will be coming sooner rather than later. So, you know, keep an eye out for it because it's one of the videos I had planned to do. Um, so I wrote down on this piece of paper here that I have in front of me, uh, if they are going to do this 24 movie, who I think would be some characters that need to come back. Uh, of course, CTU agent Jack Bauer, played by Kiefer Sutherland, he has to be in the movie. If, if they don't bring him back, then it's not going to work, I don't think. I think they need to be, bring back Mary Lynn Radskub, uh, Chloe O'Brien, who was best friend to uh, Jack Bauer. I think there's a way that they could bring back Carlos Bernard's Tony Almeida, which we know he's still alive. Alicia Cuthbert's Kimberly Bauer, so Jack Bauer's daughter they could bring back. And also maybe bring back his grandkids because in season eight, we learned that Jack Bauer had a young granddaughter. And then we learned in season nine, Live Another Day, that Kim had another baby. And I, I believe if I'm not if I'm correct, I believe it was a baby boy. So bring the grandkids back into it. This would be interesting if they did this, bringing back Cherry Jones as former president of the United States, Allison Taylor, who was in the 24 Redemption movie and then 24 season seven. This character didn't die off. She was in half of season five and all of season six. Jane Atkinson's uh, Karen Hayes, who was former Homeland Security and the National Security Advisor to the Wayne Palmer administration. They could easily bring her back. During season eight, I heard that this actor did not get along with Kiefer Sutherland for some reason. I don't know what the beef was or what the two had against each other, but would I like to see the character return? Absolutely, but I don't think the actor would return because him and Kiefer Sutherland just did not get along. And that's uh, Freddie Prince Jr.'s CTU agent, Cole Ortiz, who was director of field operations for CTU New York in season eight. And maybe, just maybe, because she, kind of she was kind of a character I liked, but she also kind of got on my nerves as well in season seven. And that was Janice Gold, who was the FBI analyst in season seven. Uh, I liked her, but I didn't like her. So I kind of have a love-hate relationship with her. Uh, could they bring back some characters from 24 Legacy? I think they could. Uh, Corey Hawkins as former Army Ranger Eric Carter. It would be interesting to see him and Jack Bauer team up together. Uh, Jimmy Smith as John Donovan, who was running for president in 24 Legacy. And Teddy Sears as Keith Mullins, C2 director for season 10, 24 Legacy. Of course, if you've watched The Flash, we all know who Teddy Sears is. He's the big bad Zoom from season two. Uh, but he played a good character as Keith Mullins, the CQ director for 24 Legacy. So those are just my thoughts on some characters they could bring back. Like I said, I have a lot of different ideas in my head of what they could do 
to bring this film into fruition. And like I said, they probably wouldn't go with any of my ideas. But like I said, I'll probably be sharing that with y'all one of these days here pretty soon. Um, like I said, a lot of cheating in there, but you know what? That's okay, because it's just kind of a rough sketch of something I think would be cool. Anyway, so yeah, 24 is now being made into a movie. So I'm really hoping and praying that Kiefer Sutherland returns as C2 Agent Jack Bauer, and that maybe we get some of these uh, characters back from the show that are still alive. So anyway, okay. That's all I have right now. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know I've enjoyed making this because 24 is one of my all time favorite TV shows. So, and I've been rewatching a lot of 24 lately. So yeah, this is, this is great news. I'm, I'm loving this right now. So, okay, that's all for now. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna say good night. God bless, I love all of you and I will see you all in the next video. Till then, bye bye